Hello everyone! Today I'm going to review the special edition Thomas Engine gift pack that was released in 2015 to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Thomas and Friends series. Packaged quite professionally compared to other Thomas Wooden Railway trains, this item is designed to link the old with the new. Included in this deal are two versions of Thomas the Tank Engine, one which looks very familiar and the other not so much. Let's take a look and see if these trains are anything special, shall we? First things first, let's peek inside the front flap on the packaging here. In summary, there is a short description of how the Reverend W. Audrey's first Thomas model came to be, and how this new one celebrates Thomas's ever-increasing legacy. The back of the box says it perfectly. These two items represent the past, present, and future of Thomas the Tank Engine. Once these two trains are out of the box, they look absolutely fantastic running down the rails of Sodor. The funky looking Thomas, which is labeled Thomas 1942, is actually pretty neat. He has a darker shade of blue than normal, and the yellow lining around his body combined with these silver wheels produce a unique yet fair model of our number one engine. I guess this Thomas's face is supposed to be a throwback to an older version of himself from a few years ago. Surprisingly, 1942 Thomas is able to maneuver through sharp corners, but your playtime adventures come to a halt when you try to push him under certain destinations. Although he clears this tunnel, Thomas won't be going anywhere past the pedestrian bridge unless he gets his funnel chopped down to size. And due to his elongated shape with no bogey on the underside, 1942 Thomas can't go anywhere that requires an elevation change. He'll simply high center and be left stuck waiting for the breakdown train. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the other Thomas engine that comes in this pack. 2015 Thomas will likely be the more popular engine out of the two, as kids will recognize the familiar face and style of this train. Although the design of the model remains the same as a normal Thomas, this engine comes with some different paint colors, such as a turquoise blue body, sparkly red lining, and gold plated wheels, smoke box, and couplings. In addition, this 2015 Thomas comes with an almost rough texture. There is no glossy paint applied over the wood, which gives it a very raw feeling. I think this is a nice special edition of Thomas the Tank Engine with some unique features. I'm glad this item wasn't just a simple Thomas model with a banner or two like we've seen in the past. However, the box artwork depicts a much shinier, cooler looking Thomas. Why can't we get this awesome version instead? It's not like this level of sparkling shininess hasn't been achieved in the wooden railway line before. This 60th anniversary Thomas looks light years cooler than the dull 2015 one. Still, it gets a solid rating for effort, but in terms of what came before it, this version of Thomas is a letdown. I asked the same question on my Diecast Thomas review and I'll do the same here. Do you believe these items are meant to be displayed in their original packaging or played with like other toys? Personally, I believe these trains are designed to be played with, no question about it. Even though the playability of the 1942 Thomas is limited in some areas, the 2015 Thomas should be the center of attention on most layouts. Overall, while I feel as though this was a great idea to honor a special anniversary, it's by no means a perfect tribute, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm still not on board with the price of this item. $35 for two Thomases in the United States seems a bit hefty. I guess you're really paying for that special edition factor that seems to be a reoccurring sign on the Thomas Wooden Railway items these days. Anyway, thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this Thomas Wooden Railway discussion on the Thomas Engine Gift Pack, and I'll see you on the next video.